Hey everybody, Real Rhino here, checking in with you on this fine Friday. Uh, a couple movies opening this week include Green Zone, She's Out of My League, and uh, Remember Me, A Family Wedding, uh, a couple of four wide releases, that's pretty sweet. Uh, we will be checking out what we can through the weekend. I'm still anxious to get some of the films that haven't been to Kansas City yet, like Frozen. Uh, I'm very much hoping for the opportunity to see that in the near future. Uh, of course, it was a big hit for the midnight showing at Sundance. Uh, really, I wanted to talk today about three of my favorite movies from 2009. And uh, yes, it is several months later, and I still haven't released my top films of 2009. Well, I've been busy. Cut me some slack. Um, first, I want to mention an education, and uh, this falls under the category of movies that I go to see because they're playing at the right time, and I'm at the right place, and I end up really enjoying them. And I find that the movies that I force myself to go see, I end up liking a heck of a lot more than I ever thought I would. This, of course, stars Carrie Mulligan, who was up for Best Actress this year, and a uh, fantastic young star on the rise. Uh, I also like her because I went to college with a girl named Carrie Mulligan, not the same person, and uh, isn't that special? Yes, it is. Also starring uh, Peter Sarsgaard, who's a wonderful, swarthy, suave, uh, middle-aged man that plays the suitor in this film, and also Alfred Molina and uh, several others. Very, very enjoyable coming-of-age story, uh, and everybody has British accents. You can't ever go wrong with that. Uh, next, I wanted to mention Crazy Heart, of course, with Jeff Bridges, who did win the Oscar for Best Actor this year. Uh, many think long overdue. Uh, the Dude Reigns, of course. Uh, really just a great movie from start to finish, and it, it never was overblown. Uh, it never felt like they were trying to throw this guy into the gutter and, and show how he could build himself out, uh, much like The Wrestler did, but... The Wrestler was a fine movie in its own right as well. Crazy Heart played the middle of the road a little bit more and uh, you know, showed a guy down on his luck, a once big star who uh, certainly wasn't there anymore. And Great turn by Jeff Bridges, without a doubt. Also, uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, who was, I believe, nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Uh, and Robert, Robert Duvall, who had a fantastic role in this as uh, uh, bad, bad Blake's friend. Really a uh, sharp role by Duvall. And that was his other... Uh, uh, supporting role he had this year. He also was in The Road in a supporting role with uh, Viggo Mortensen, and then a lot of folks were surprised to learn that that was Robert Duvall because you could barely tell it was him until you were told so. Uh, maybe the most interesting role in Crazy Heart, though, was Colin Farrell, who uh, now has played, I think, every known accent on, the, on God's Green Earth here. He plays a country singer, and, uh, of course, he plays the the protege of Bad Blake, and uh, to hear him with a country accent and sing these country songs was pretty funny, and I actually thought he did a decent job with the role, so, you know, we'll cut him a little bit of slack. Uh, finally, and probably the most mainstream of these three films is Up in the Air, directed by Jason Reitman, son of the great Ivan Reitman, director of my favorite film of all time, Ghostbusters. Yes, I am a child of the 80s. Please forgive me. Uh, but Jason Reitman did a fantastic job with this. Uh, George Clooney, Anna Kendrick, Vera Farmiga, all nominated for Oscars. Uh, great turns by Jason Bateman, and of course the uh, always loved comedic presence of Zach Galifianakis. Yes, he is everywhere now, and expect him to be everywhere. Thank you, Hangover, which was one of my favorite comedies of 2009. So I think that about covers it. An education, crazy heart and up in the air, all fantastic movies, get high marks from me. Uh, they all fall under that category of, well, it seems a little artsy, but you know what, you're going to love it. Check them all out. Uh, stay tuned for more Real Rhino coming up in future days. Uh, I plan on talking a bit more about the movies. It seems as though uh, uh, it's a good way for me to vent all my pent-up uh, thoughts and, and feelings about the films that I see, which is a great many. So take care, enjoy your weekend, get out and see something, and I'll see you next time.